One Nebraska senator has introduced legislation calling for what is called an Article 5 convention. We now have that senator, Senator Laura Epke, on the phone. Thanks for joining us, Senator. Thanks, Sarah. Now, just explain how this whole process works. Sure, the way the process works with an Article 5 convention is that the state legislatures decide that they want to have a convention and then they apply to the Congress for the convention. It takes 34 states to have um, virtually identical um, uh, applications to Congress before Congress is obligated to actually call the convention. Um, the, the, the applications specify the purpose of the convention and then Congress calls the convention for those purposes. At that point then the, the states would get together in convention um, when it's called and then they would debate proposals for amendments to the Constitution. Those proposals um, would then be, if, if the convention sends any out, the, those proposals would then be um, ratified or be sent out to the states again for ratification and it takes 38 states to ratify. So why do you support this call to con call for convention? Well, this particular call um, asks for um, fiscal restraints, asks for an amend amendments which would consider fiscal restraints um, on the federal government, limiting the power and jurisdiction of the federal government, and to limit the terms of office for, for the federal government. Um, the bottom line is I think that most people will agree that there's something terribly wrong when we've got a $20 billion plus national debt or trillion dollar plus national debt rather, and that um, you know we need to get a handle on our spending. And Congress, um, doesn't matter who's in charge of Congress and who's in charge of the presidency, they, doesn't, they don't seem to be concerned about changing that. Now the proposal you're making would call for a convention on three different issues. Could that convention be too broad? I don't think so. I mean, th those three different issues are pretty limited. Um, the thing to remember is that even if something that seems to be outside the scope of the convention would happen to come out, the states still have the opportunity to say no. And it only takes, um, you know, since it requires 38 full state legislatures, um, in every state but Nebraska, that means that both, state, bo both houses of their legislature have to approve the ratification. I mean, it would take 38 of those complete states before we get there. So the chances of anything too broad um, actually becoming part of the Constitution, I think, is very minimal. Now, you've uh, tried to introduce a similar legislation before, and now this resolution has 11 co-sponsors. Do you see uh, it going through this time? I think there's a there's a greater movement towards it. Last year um, we had we were in a short session. By the time we got around to, to dealing with it, we were towards the end, um, so we really didn't have the time to fully debate the, the issues. Um, I think that there, there's a lot of scare tactics that have um, been pushed forward when it comes to the uh, convention, but I'm I'm pretty confident that we'll get a fair fair hearing in the government committee again and that if it gets out on the floor, we'll have more people ready to um, talk positively about it. There's a real grassroots movement out there. All right, Senator Laura Epke joining us today at noon. Thank you so much, Senator. met like the kindest, most welcoming people who have made me feel empowered.